Late Show, Buddy Microchip here, playing Trains 2022 Plus Standard Edition. And this is the CNO Hinton Episode 60. Yes, sir, in two years we can start collecting Social Security. <laughs> sure. Uh, so we were here with Graham in the repair yard in the Avis yard, the repair part of the Avis yard. Whatever. Uh, and we pulled some cards here that are ready to be uh, put, you know, uh, put into service. They are, uh, they've been repaired. We only got two cars left to go, and they're both gondolas. So all of these that, are, that Graham has uh, lashed up right now are all going for repair. So we just need gondolas, and there's only two gondolas over here. So let's go take a look at these gonds. Are these the right ones? I'm looking for 74,890, 74,890, and I'm looking for 74,270. 74 to look at that there they are beautiful let's get them all right uh oh uh i'm controlling the wrong train i'm controlling something down there how'd that happen i don't know okay very good Wait a minute. let me adjust my mic here there we go. I don't like it up my nose. I don't, I don't like it halfway up my nose, not not the full way up my nose. All right. Now, now let's get Graham going. There we go. And we are going to lash on to this one. Okay. How much room we got here at the end? We got we got some room to play with. We got some room to play with. All right, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to say, that's good. Apply the handbrake. Decouple. Now back it up, baby. Give me some backup, would you? All right. So we're going to have to stick those two onto this track here. Actually, we'll probably just stick them down this way a little bit here. And then... Uh, shuffle these four back onto the repair track and we'll be good to go. Good to go. Oh, yeah, we got to pick up this one yet, too. We do? 604? No, this one does not have to be picked up. Yeah, no, 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 no. That one's going to be put back down to the repair yard, so we'll stick these here. Then, actually, we'll leave them here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's check the uh, uh, things here before. They should be set, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, so we'll stick, we'll leave these two on this track, then take these, shove them all the way back down here, then come back, pick those two up, we're, we're on our way back to, uh, the Hinton Yard. Okay. I got it all straight in my head now. My head space is all good to go. Okay, look how shiny and new they are. Look how much I'm not slowing down in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I had good intentions. Wait a minute. The microphone is still not right. There we go. Is it right now? I don't know. So let, let's let's move this up just a little bit due to poor poor braking. Stick those a little bit more onto that track there. There we go. So wheat. So apply the brake this way. Get some negative uh, negative percentage going there on the throttle. There's no such thing as negative percentage on the throttle. It's forwards, backwards, and then throttle. That's it. Okay. Well, actually, it's forwards and backwards on the reverser, and then the throttle is just... What the... <laughs> why does it keep doing that? That's why I was in control of that other train, because it keeps popping over there. What the haystacks? Okay, so we'll go here now. What? Come on, now. What is 
going on with trains lately? Okay, how about we go for this? There we go. Okay. Just gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet. You gotta sneak up on it. All right, here we go now. All right, so we'll shove these on. The only one that's coming with us is this last 55 tonner right here. All of these are all getting shoved in there. There we go. Beautiful. Slow it down just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect ramming speed. Nice. Watch it, fellas. Here we come. Now, how far down are we going to shove these? Normally, I shove them all the way to the end. Do we really need to shove them? I'm not that I'm in any hurry. Could just get them past the platform here. Well, see, but the problem is we're dropping off goods. We may need some lead track. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go down a ways. Here we go, boys. Good thing we got these big empty spools here. What's on the empty spools, do you suppose? Some kind of wire? They need wire to fix these things? I can honestly say I have no idea. If you told me they needed like a 50-gauge wire, I'd say sure. <laughs> mostly mostly because I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Who knows? And then these bogeys are pretty old. And then look at these. What what wheel does that go on? That one's been laying around since the 20s. Okay. Uh, so we will apply. Decouple. Back up. Here we go. These guys sizing up the shed here because I got to paint it. So they're like, hmm. How many gallons do you think we need? There's the fire shed. That's what I would think that is, right? I mean, that's why it'd be red. It's a fire breaks out somewhere on the, uh, somewhere on the repair track here. They can, what does it say on there? It's fire shed number 70. Problem with this fire shed is there's no doors. <laughs> that does not make the fire shed very accessible now, does it? Okay, so we're going to come up here now and kill the bell. You're no longer in the yard. All righty. Here we go. And then clear this right here. Perfect. Oh, no, we're going forward. Ignore that last horn. You got to yell that out the window when you make that uh, mistake. Blow it three times, and you need to yell out the window. Ignore the last one. Everybody knows. All right. There we go. Grab onto this. Nice. Now we'll back out of the repair yard. Head on over to the Avis yard. Now I do need to blow it three times. <laughs> Woo! 
It'll be a long day. I can, I can see it coming already. It'll be a long, long video. All right. Now we're going to want to run run around these things. We'll see if we can get them to fit on the runaround track that we have up here. It's not Well, it's not really a runaround track, but it's got a couple of crossovers. We'll see what can be done. We can double dip it if it don't fit. All right. Oh, it's this again, huh? I think the wires are getting in the way. It's got to be clear by now. All right. There we go. And now we're going forward. That's it. You just got to concentrate a little bit. All right. Now. Crossover track is right here. Oh, yeah. The crossover track's pretty big. So we can set it in here. Then you can see we can run back around it this way. Yeah. So we'll fit that all on the crossover track. No problem. Why did I choose that one? I don't know. But let's go uh let's go backwards here. The Graham's dual forty four tonners. There's some ash. Fifty five tonner full of ash. From the ash pits here to hit as a matter of fact. Of course, we're not hitting hit. We're in Avis. Looks well, ash just down the road from hitting. This guy, he's having a barrel of fun, huh? Graham's got a little momentum going with here. Look at that. More ash. Did I fill all these? I must have, right? Then what the heck is that? It's like sand. <laughs> Has someone been sneaking onto my route and doing things without my knowledge? All right. So there's the first part of the crossover. You can see it up front there. And we're going to do a little runaround maneuver. Because when we get down on the other end, the, uh, the reclassification track, uh, although these are not really being reclassified, but they're going to be put on that track, uh, is a shove in the opposite direction. So we got to get on the right side. We got to get the yeah. We got to get the engines to uh, get past this one right here. Whoops. Swung around too much. Stop right there. That's beautiful. Then we will apply. And then we will go backwards. You know, this parking these here now reminds me of that one time when I was coming down and there was a some cars sitting on here. How did I do that? How did I... Well, it must not have been this way. It must have been... Uh, we're going to pop this one here. I don't think I said it. Uh, I did. But that's right. Uh, how did I... But it must have... It, but it wasn't, wasn't coming out of the repair yard. That's what I was I'm thinking. How would I forget this? Here I am with Graham right now. What am I going to say? Oh, yeah. I'll go back to the other yard now when I... What was I doing here as I passed a long line of cars? That that couldn't have been it. It must have been when I was setting cars out for uh, to go to the repair yard, not coming back from the repair yard. I'll bet you that's what it was. All right, so this one we're going to go this way. Yeah, this way, and then that way. Here we go. We could have popped some of those uh, switches, but... Uh, 
I, I gotta look that up. <laughs> In fact, I might look it up. What do you call it? Because I know they got spring, spring uh, switches that you can go over and they'll pop back. But I gotta look that up to find out what the terminology is when you go over a switch that's not switched for your track. But it doesn't make a difference because you know you're not you're going in the opposite direction of the switch. Jump, jump the switch. I don't know. Funny how these things get caught into my brain like that. Okay. There you go, buddy. I go back and get him. See, when you concentrate, it's easy to remember how many times you had to blow the horn. It's not a difficult thing to do. Here he comes. Get this one. Love it. Okay, now he's going to head down this way. Um, we'll get him. We'll throw all the switches to what they need to be. Uh, yeah, he wants to get on this side here. Well, he may not want to, but that's where I'm going to shove him. Then he's going to come through out yeah, here. And then yes, and then yes, and then yes. Uh-huh. You're doing good now. You're doing good. You're going to run all the way back here. Yeah. No. And then no. So we're going to pull straight through here. Right? That's There's no way that's going to become a problem, but we'll do that anyway. And then we'll back into the reclassification track. Second, I got scared. I didn't see those hoppers. Like, oh, what happened? It derailed since I was gone. Nobody waiting for us this time. There we go. All right, now I can just sit back and relax. Everything is set up. Graham's on his way back over. Nice. Beautiful countryside. I wonder if I were to ever go to Hinton. Uh, where, where's Hinton in? Is it West Virginia? Uh, I think it is, West Virginia. Uh, I would be interested to see what kind of views you could get from this bridge of the actual rail yard that's there. And then this cliff that's here, are you allowed to come up to the edge of it? Or is it all private property? Let's go over to this side here. I don't know. I mean, you can come down here to the passenger station. And this would be cool, but what I really want to see is the yard over here on this side. And see how it compares. I've, I've been on this route now long enough playing it in here in trains that if I were to go there, I'd be able to. Look, you know, there's a road right down here. Now, of course, does this road really exist? And if it did really exist, is it still there? Who knows? But anyway, I've been playing the route long enough that I'd be able to come down and say, oh, yeah, there's that part. Oh, yeah, there's part. Oh, this is where the, you know coaling tower used to be and it'd be cool to see all right
Now someone's gonna call this pull this cut out of here. Um now, did I write down I should have, right? What the uh oh yeah I did. Uh I'm sorry, I bought the the uh what the each engine is rated for. Because I have a USRA Light Pacific, that's two thousand. Uh, tons. Uh, pulling power, tractive effort, if you will. Uh, the B&O Q3 is 2,500. Then at 3,000, we have the the K4s, the nickel plates, and the uh, K2 Mikado. And then what do we have above that then? Then we have the 5,000 horsepower uh, Southern Pacific 410 2. And then we have the 75. I'm going to sneeze. 7,500 horsepower uh, CNO H8. I had more engines in there, but maybe, maybe I don't. I'm sure if I looked around, I could find more engines in that. We're going to stick with what we got for right now. Now, we do have a, a big boy on this route. Makes me wonder, would they run a big boy on this route? I'm not sure. Tracks are going to be, you know, too small for it. As far as, you know, turns and stuff. I know it's articulated, but... I don't, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to a lot of things. Oops, what did I just do? Hit the wrong button. There we go. That's what I wanted to hit right there. We are rolling, rolling uh, here. Now we got a high green. Beautiful. This one's going to have to be set. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's start the slowing down sequence. We all know how that goes. They don't exactly stop on a dime. In fact, it might even be safe to say they don't exactly stop on a acre. <laughs> all right. go now there's some expert slowing down that was nice nice use of the <clears throat> train brake there the auto brake there we go now we're just gonna Shove them back onto the uh, reclassification track, and that'll be the end of Graham's turn. I'm going to go find out what Andrew's doing next. <gasps> I gave you the uh, the insight as to where I'm going next. I never do that. Okay. So, no, no, we're going this way. No, we're going this way. Uh, no, we're going this way. And no, we're going this way. Every switch from here to where I wanted to go was wrong. Here we come on in now. Let's, let's go down to the other end now and make sure this is going to... This is going to thread onto the correct tracks. Doing some nice threading right now. Seems like an awfully fast 14 mile an hour. It's good. There we go. Perfect. Fresh from the repair yard. It's like fresh bread out of the oven, except completely different. All right. 
Stop it right there. Beautiful. We'll apply it. Do this. Then do that. Okay, so that is the end of Graham's turn. Uh, let me put you on pause and uh, we'll see. Uh, figure out what we're doing next. I already know it's Andrew. Okay, as I said, we're with Andrew. Uh, and uh, this is a cool truck. Look at this thing. It's a garbage truck. Is that awesome or what? I did. I've never seen this truck before. I'm starting to think. Oh Jesus! The wheels don't turn on. It just slides along. But uh, I'm starting to think maybe I should become a garbage truck driver. Garbage truck simulator. No. Uh, we're here with Andrew. Uh, as I leaked out, Andrew has just come down from the Mountain Hope Garden Ground Mine where he picked up 35 coal cars uh and now he's driven here to thurmond and in thurmond he's got he's got three businesses to work uh three industries to work but actually two industries two of them uh, uh <laughs> he's doing two things for two different things for thurmond uh swift and company and he's doing one thing for the freight house for the freight house he's gonna pick up 15 box cars and set them out to get uh filled and then for Thurman Swift and Company, he's going to fill up six reefers and three boxcars from Thurman uh, Swift. Now, um, of course, before we fill up those reefers, here's Thurman Swift and Company right here. They've got a very small lead track. Uh, I mean, like, really small. What, what are these buildings here? I don't recall seeing these before. The Plainsman Hotel. I like it. I don't know what that is. It looks like a, some kind of an office or uh, government building. Okay, enough look at that. Um, but before we can do that with the reefers, we're going to have to run them over here to the ice house so they can be filled with ice. Now, where's the freight? This has got to be the freight. Yeah, right here, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go up, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Yeah, Thurman Freight House. Yep. So there's the freight house right there, which means we're going to have to be on the other side of those. It'd be. Now, all the cars are waiting right up. Well, no, it's going to be a problem. we got to separate Separate track for this side, so that's good. Uh, all these cars are all waiting up here. These are all Swift and Company. Uh, so we can pull those off there. And these are all the Thurman Freight House. This big, long line of box cars here. <clears throat> now, the question is, what are we do with our coal cars that we pulled in from Watchmacall? Now, even though he's loading up on all these cars, he's picking up, what, a total of 21, 24 cars here. He's still going to be underweight. Uh, with all 21... Uh, all the coal cars he has now, plus the ones he's going to pick up, it's going to be a total weight of 3,814 tons. And he's rated uh, in this one uh, at 5,000. So he's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to park this thing up right along here. Uh, no, that's not going to work because this track leads right into that. Well, you done got yourself into a pickle. All right. So what if we put him because there's a water power here what if we stick these things just all in the yard here is that just stick them in the yard you know i could run them all the way back here and stick them in this really big yard over here hi chihuahua uh yeah i'm not sure what i want to do uh but i guess i should make up my mind because we pull up to here we could back it back down and just throw it into this yard here right throw it on track one or whatever we, there's no other train coming right now, so we should be good. And then when I leave, I can probably it just does. Yeah, I can pull it from the other end even. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I like that idea. Okay, so let's do that. All right. Now let's uh, let's click on him. Yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, and then what he's gonna do is he's gonna go this way. Yeah, this way. No, this way. And then that's going to be set that way, right? Now, he can't go. He's got a lot of room here. He should be able to fit that on. We've got too much further to go up before we clear this switch right here. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, Andrew. Get some done. Oh, we're on the ash track. Oh, no, we're, not, we're next to the ash track. Okay. What well, is the ash loading track, though? Oh, yeah, let's put it on this, though. Good idea. Thank you. Here he goes. All right. Very good. Yeah, we'll just back him out of that track over there. That's just going to be way, way out of the way. There's nothing else that meets up back here, right? That we can eke our way down? No, there's nothing. All right. I'm disappointed, but... All right. Hear that crackling again. I think it's woodpeckers on these poles. You know, woodpeckers, uh, they have problems out west with woodpeckers pecking on these poles um, because uh, of the vibrations. Uh, sometimes electricity is going through. It'll vibrate the wood a little bit. And so woodpeckers uh, can detect that vibration, and that's how they find their uh, prey. Because what a woodpecker does. It pecks the wood and looks for uh, worms and stuff in the wood, caterpillars, whatever might be burrowed in there. And so uh, that's how they get their food. So they fill that from the electrical wires. Then they start pecking on the poles, which is not good for the poles. It weakens them. And then when wind comes along, it can blow them down or blow off the top parts or whatever part they're pecking on. So. And there we go. Now we're going to back it up. I'm suddenly afraid that I went across the switch that I didn't switch right. No, 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 no. Have confidence in yourself. Okay. So now we're going to go back this way. Back this way. Yep. Switch that one over there. Switch this one to that way. That's good. Normal. 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 Yeah, reversed. I can stick it down any one of these tracks, right? Could just put it right here. Just the straight shot one. What difference does it make? It doesn't. Uh, eventually, we'll have to run around with the caboose, but we can do that, too. All right. So let's click on the caboose. Let's join the fellows in the caboose. Yeah, look at us. All right. Let's, uh, let's go backwards. Barely hear that horn. Barely. Kind of a cool shot, huh? I don't know how wait I don't I don't know how fast they go in, in reverse here. I don't know what the gearing is. Oh, I can't check these things while I'm standing on here. It's all right, we're just gonna be confident. Here we go. We got a solid red. Oh, I can't check that either. <laughs> I can't check nothing. The old handbrake there. Nice. All right, here we come. We're not derailing, so I think we're good. I know you passed that signal at danger, but it's okay. Nobody's coming. I know that for a fact. It's like a level crossing coming up here. It's a lot quieter than I thought it would be. There we go. It's a nice scene. Hey, people. Wave to the uh, repair crew here. How you doing? Boy, stay back. <laughs> Look at this. It's level with the track. This seems dangerous. Look out, peeps. I don't want to run you over, but at the same time, I will. Okay, back into the Thurmond Yard we go. There we go. A 
Again, all reds. Don't know why. Can't check it. It's kind of cool. Oh, geez, what happened? Oh, I turned around too fast. Thought I was looking out the other side already. I like the pot belly stove in there. The fellas can stay warm. All right, and then there's the new river there. I see some rollers between the rocks. All right. The frog. Here we go. There we are. All right. Now let's back off here now. And we'll just uh, push them in past that... Uh, up past this switch should be good enough. We got 35 coal cars here total. And their total weight is 2,590 tons for those people keeping uh, a scorecard at home. I'm thinking, do we want to pull the freight yard first? I'm thinking we're going to do the, the, the freight house first. And then we can get Thurmond's uh, uh, reefer is going. Get them filled with ice. And while those are filling, we can then start filling the uh, just the goods non-reefer boxcar at Thurmond. So it will be like uh, multitasking. All right. Here comes Andrew. Start slowing down here. How fast were we going at top speed? I didn't even, I didn't even check it. That's a nice looking engine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we will apply it right there. Oh, where are all these going to? These are also going to the garden ground mine. Or mine, not mine. Okay, so now we're going to pull forward. See what kind of speed I get this time. Pay attention. Uh, now, to get into the freight house, we have to pull them back to here. And then you can see here's the freight house right here and here. Uh, we've got a bunch of guys waiting. They know it's coming. Yeah, look at the, even these two fellas. Look at the, they, they got people got people sweeping up. They got everybody down here. All right. <clears throat> so now he's going to come back in. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I lost him for a second. All right, so we're going to come this way. Uh, I know all of these are set correctly. He's going to come right through here. And then we're going to pull the freight house ones first. So it'll be uh, this one right. No, no, this one right here. I think so. Right? So he'll come out of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a dead end track. Okay. Yeah, because these are freight house ones there. Uh, we're only doing 10 mile an hour. Alrighty. Get up to 15. There we go, 50%. Smoky, really smoky. Look out, people here at the passenger station. Oh, 
We'll roll in through here. We'll be back in a little bit. Beautiful. All right, back through the yard here. Is this engine like extra smoky or is it just me? It seems extra smoky. Alright, it seems to have a it seems weird to have a signal right here. This train, I wanted to come all the way up here, but I think I need to put another cross track in because the, I think the Thurman Yard uh, track marker is on that track, and those that are coming down from the Garden, garden Ground Mind area will be unable to reach that. Okay. How many of these do we need? Did I say fifteen? So we got this one. Thurman Freight House. Were we at the other end or something? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This should be fifteen right here. Let's back up. Now we'll go back this way. And this list flipped around again. All right, so 17 cars, that's correct, because it's counting the engine and the tender, right? Yeah, the engine and the tender. Okay, so now we want to line these things up. Back this way. Now, is there another way to get through here without having to go right by the passenger station? And That's going to be a big negatory. That's going to be a negative. We got to go right past the passenger station. They just weren't real concerned about safety back then. Okay, so this time. Now, wait a minute. Where do we have to go to get? Oh, yeah, this one right here. That's right. Okay, we're going to clear this one right here. So this time, though, we're not going to go into the yard. So we're going to go this way and then this way. Yeah, and we'll just stay on the main line track and then back our way in. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Let's go back to the engine. There we go. Look back here. That way, that way we get maximum uh, smokage. it at 50%? I'm going to say that's a yes. Okay. Passenger station again. Okay, and then we're going to move them down past the switch right here. It's just a maze of switches in a lot of these yards. Every
every switch he passes is at danger. I guess danger is his middle name. there. Stay on target. Star Wars reference. Okay. Some company box cars here. Listen to that slack action happening. Get on in. Doesn't matter what platform we go to first. Here he comes. All right, let's let's check which ones it is going to go to though. Uh, it's going to go to the one on the left first. Very good. We'll ride this box car back with it. I could be a conductor view, but I'm going to stick in this view, I think. All right. There we go. Nice and easy, like boys. There you are. Beautiful. Let's get down to the other end here now so we can see where to line it up at, where to stop it. Somebody left their car running. All right. As long as the doors are over the... lined up at the platform. Right there, there. Stop, 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 stop. <gasps> Look at that. Perfect. Nice. We're not going to open the doors again because it takes too long. Did it line up with this side too with its door? Oh, it's just a little off. Can we can we squeak it? Yeah, we won't be able to. Oh, jeez. What happened there? That was confusing. Okay. Let's try to squeak it a little bit here. Right there. It's a little off. Now they should be able to do that, though, right? You guys can handle that, right? What do we got on this end now? Yeah, then you can do that one, too. Okay, that's nice. So we'll apply. And now we will back up. There we go. So how many can we do? One, two, three, oh, five at a time. That's nice. Load it up quickly and haul buns back to Hinton after this because there's no other industries that are asking for service at this point. I don't think, right? Quick look at the spreadsheet. Oh, don't do that. Uh, Yeah, this is... These are the only... The last three industries asking for service here on the entire route, so... It's nice. Well, unless you like the service industries, and it's not nice. But, uh, you know, spreadsheet will add on more after I uh, complete these. Yeah, in fact, every day that I uh, switch to a uh, new day, when it hits 5 o'clock, switch to a new day, I, uh, if there are no orders left to fulfill... Then it'll uh, create more orders for me. You know, for industries to be serviced. Oh, 
Well, I thought we were going back down the same track again. It's like, I could have swore. And I did. I did. Now, this one, we should be able to line up. So these two ends are about the same, right? Let's do it from this angle. This is like precision spotting here. You got to be careful. Not much leeway. Right there. Oh, that, that is so near perfection. Let's see what does the door look like. Yeah, it's just a little off, but they they can get that right. We could back up just a little bit because this door's got a little bit of leeway with it. I'm being really anal right now, and I love it. There we go. That's where I want. Okay, now do these cars stick out? They do not. Yeah, because this is all for Freight House, right? This whole lead is just for the Freight House. Yeah. Okay, kill the belt. So you can uh, leave these right here. No problem. There you go. Now you're going to back up. Okay. We're going to stop backing up because we've got to back out of the video. Yeah, we're not going to get to... Uh, the Thurman stuff. We'll do that in episode uh, 61, of course. Uh, but that is all uh, for episode 60. We're in the we're in the butters. Oh, look, waterfall. Oh, those are rollers. Oh, rollers here, rollers there, rollers, rollers everywhere. Okay, so uh, I hope you guys had fun. This was a lot of fun. We got to see a little bit more Thurman that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, beginning of episode 61, we'll see a lot more Thurman as we got to set those things off for. Uh, the uh, Swift and Company reefers and the Swift and Company uh, boxcars. Uh, so stay tuned. Episode uh, 61 will be coming out in about a week or so. Why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like how just darn smoky this Southern Pacific engine is, well, this just may not be the channel for you.